welcome. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for sardine choker. Now this is a very popular trini dish and we eat this with cricks, dal and rice, sadaruti. So it all depends on what you like to eat it with. So for this recipe I have here one tin of sardine. You can use how much tins you like. I'm just doing one. One lime. One small onion chopped or sliced. One small tomato chopped and one hot pepper chopped. I have my frying pan there that I'm going to saute my onions and peppers in because I just want to take the bite out of the onions before I put in my sardine. So let's get started on putting the sardine choker together. The first thing you want to do is clean your sardines. I'm just going to take it out of the packaging. When you open it, be careful because there's a lot of oil in there. If you want, you can drain out the oil separately. What I like to do is put everything in, in a bowl and then I move ahead to cleaning the sardine. So to clean the sardine, you just take one and you squeeze the ends together and it splits open. Once it splits open, you're going to take the insides out the bones. I know some people like the bones. If you like the bones, you can leave them. And once you've cleaned the inside out, you move on to the others. In the meantime, put up your frying pan to heat up. A medium, medium low heat. Take a fork and mash your sardine to the consistency or the texture that you would like. Squeeze in your lime. Now I'm using the whole lime because this lime doesn't have much juice. Add in your tomatoes. Add some oil, about a teaspoon. Allow, allow that to heat up once it's nice and warm or hot. Add in your peppers. Well, I like to add my peppers first because I really like it to get nice and spicy. So just let the peppers saute a little before you add in your onions. Now add in your onions. If you prefer raw onions in your sardines, that's okay. I just like to saute mine a little. Add your sorted onions to your sardine. Add salt to taste. And give everything a mix. After you've mixed everything in, give it another taste and adjust your salt accordingly. And your sardine will be ready. So here you have it, my sardine choker recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you like to add additional vegetables to so this, like sweet peppers and carrots and stuff, you can do that. It's all up to you. This is just a basic recipe, so you can build on this. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining me in the kitchen, and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!